today we're gonna make some snow people art and what I want you to do is just be creative and know that you can't mess up your art's gonna be beautiful a lot of people this is an example a lot of people would say oh my gosh I messed up I got some specks of color on there it doesn't matter it just looks great once this is framed and another thing is this like you could see oh well the paint came out of sorry the paint came out and bled a little bit it's okay it doesn't matter it's still gonna look great in a frame or as a Christmas card now the thing about making these snow people is you can use as many or as few as you want you can just use one or you can use two so the first thing you want to do is get your watercolors ready and I just have a really old set of Crayola watercolors a little paper towel to dab your water and what you're going to do is get a jar or something I have this jar right here get a jar of water you're gonna dip your paintbrush in it and then the first thing you're gonna to want to do is go for some either blue or you're gonna make a gray shadow so I'm gonna do gray you can also do blue but again you don't want a lot you want it to be a shadow so just a little bit of paint sort of dab your brush. Let's make a snow person here. And what I'm gonna do is make three. Now what this looks like is it looks like, ooh, this is very light. That's okay, I like it. Do you see the shadow? It's just a shadow is what you wanna see. And what you can do is you can put a little bit of blue ice inside that shadow so I can get some blue and I can go inside the gray shadow with a little bit of blue and that kind of makes it look icy. You could do it like that. And this project's so easy because it's so soothing and relaxing to do these snow people. I wanna make three snow people on this page. So it's just one, two, three swoops and then go out here because the sun's shining this way, the shadow's coming over here from that perspective, and I can make this a little bit darker, maybe. I mean, you could add more watercolor. Again, if I wanna put a little bit of blue inside this for a little bit of ice. There you go. And I said I was gonna make three snow people. Can you see on my picture? I'm gonna go over here and make another one on this side. Ooh, that one came out pretty dark that's okay I told you you can't mess up on this project I'm just gonna lift a little bit of it away um, it's still gonna look great don't worry it's still gonna look great I'm not worried about it I love to to like do these um, see my students do these so I mean come on I'm showing you what it looks like to do darker really light or medium and it's still gonna look really good and as you notice here, there's a tree and you can see there's some snow on the tree. Uh, the parts that aren't covered with snow, you can show. And so I'm going to do a tree over here because the snow people have made a tree and they've decorated a forest tree. So that will be, I'm, I'm gonna actually show just the tops uh, or the bottoms of the foliage and so what we'll have here is just some green showing up at the bottom and then it'll be covered with snow on the top you know little little green wherever you think there would be green showing on a on a tree in the forest another thing that you might see is some of the trunk of that tree underneath so you can put a little don't forget to dab your, your brush. And again, you can make this darker. You could just go in and make um, a darker, another layer of watercolor there. Another thing you wanna do here is think about the scenery behind these snow people. And behind these snow people, there's going to be some sort of mountain range, if you could see it here, and then some sort of sky. This sky's 
more like the northern light sky. See all those colors in there? And the other one's more uh, similar to daytime. So this one has the bright of the yellow. And we're going to just go in here and think about our mountain range and what that looks like. So I'm gonna go in with some gray. And if the perspective is something shining over here, right? And the shadows are on this side, you have to stick with that on the mountain ranges because the perspective is uh, the sun is shining on the other side or whatever, shining the moon. You could do a dark um, night scene as well. So I would have a mountain here. And if it makes you feel better, you could actually take a pencil and sketch this out first and then you can erase it later. You can erase that. So I'm sorry I haven't been putting out a lot of videos lately. I have um, no excuse for that, except for I've, I've just found myself very busy. But that's my only, only excuse. What we're gonna have to do is remember where these mountains are, because I'm going to say that's gonna come on this side with white, this side, and this side. Maybe I'll put one over here, okay? And I need to do some sort of scene, uh, some sort of sky behind that. You guys have seen the northern light sky very colorful. You've seen the sun very colorful. And so let's do something with yellow, reds, and oranges. I told you about the perspective where the sun's going to be somewhere over here. So I'll go ahead and, and put a sun over here. And then coming off of that sun, I can start making some orange, orangey sort of strokes and this can start blending in. Not too happy about that yellow color, but you can add some more brightness to that. I, I'm telling you, you you just you can't you can't mess up this project. You you can't. It's it's so relaxing. I mean, get your dad, your grandma, your brother, your aunt, your uncle, everybody sit down with some watercolors and make snow people scenes. It's super super relaxing. And if you're stressed out, just do this and you will just be fine. You will feel, you will be feeling fine by the end of it. Now, I, I'm gonna go ahead and sort of map out where I want this color to go. And then I'll, I'll add back some color later. So don't do any painting inside there, only keep it to the sky. All right, and then I'm gonna actually have this scene sort of get more red as we go. I, d I, haven't, I don't usually do this red sort of sky, but I've seen these beautiful red s skies before. And I've seen them pink and red and purple filled with color. So let's try it. Again, you can use that. And then what you wanna do is go in and say, ah, I need these colors to blend a little more. Let's put some more orange there. And I need this color to blend a little more. Let's put some more yellow here. So you can just play with it and have fun with that. Now, the rest of this project, you're actually done with the watercolor part of it. The rest of this you're going to do with either crayons. I've used crayons before, and I've used markers. So you can see on this one, let's, let me show you. This is a Sharpie that I've outlined everything with, and crayons. This is just crayons. You can, usually in your box of crayons, you have more colors, and you can get more detail with a Sharpie. But this one over here, I just used markers. So this was a set of markers, and it was Crayola markers, just eight colors. There's not a lot there, but they both look cute, right? Once they're dry. And once I got these frames at the dollar store for a dollar, once these, this is dry, we're gonna go ahead and Sharpie it, and we're going to put some color on it with some markers and frame it and we could give it away to our grandma for a gift. If this is, you can represent, one of the things I did that was fun is I have made these and then I've represented 
uh, the kids for the grandmas. So if your son plays football, then one of your snow people can be holding a football or some ballet slippers, or they could have a special hat that they like to wear or their favorite color. So you could have really fun with this, um, a really good time making this and it's very relaxing. Okay, I think I'm gonna go get my marker and Sharpie and we're gonna go ahead and finish this project. You could really have fun with hats on these snow people. Uh, of course, the traditional hat, if you watch the snowman movie, is this sort of top hat situation, right? This is always a fun one. And this is just a Sharpie. We can, you know, actually, you can leave a little bit of it fill that in, make the band a, a certain color. Uh, I brought some markers too, we'll, we'll leave that for a, a different color. And uh, on this guy we can put a little cute little sock hat on with a little ball at the end. You could also put some stripes on this thing Again, you could fill this in with crayons or you can just continue to use your markers. As far as the tree, you want to define everything because it just makes everything look better. And let's do a final hat on this person, this little snow person. And you could do a baseball cap. You can do a Santa cap. I just like to put little you know, winter hats on them. But whatever you want to do, it's up to you. Just be creative. Again, this is another part that's really soothing. First thing I'm going to do is define the snow person. I want to kind of wiggle my... If you wiggle this a little bit, it makes it look more natural because snow wouldn't be perfect, right? And you could even go out here with this little shadow trailing it. So wiggle this a little bit, but you want to define the snow person on the other side. So this is a good lesson in symmetry. Whatever you did to this side, let's equate it on the other side. And so it's a mirror image. You want to do your three. There you go. See, that's all you do. It doesn't have to be perfect. We don't do perfect around here. We do good enough because good enough is enough. You could even, even finish this off if you want, if it makes you feel better. I think it makes me feel better. So I'm gonna do that. And then we're going to do the last one. This is a little or snow person. Now, what I like to do first is make sure I know where the nose is. Just go snap dab in the middle of this snow person's face, okay? These guys are all gonna have carrot noses because, you know, the snowman and the carrot nose, why not? And then, of course, coal for the three buttons. I'm getting really traditional here. This is how we do it. We put coal for the buttons, not in your stocking for the buttons. And then the eyes, of course, we want two eyes on each snow person this one's hat is covering its eye a little. And then again, you could just put little mouth made with also coal. And what are the arms? Of course, twigs, right? So we want to put the twig arms and think about if you want these to hold anything. If you want the twigs to hold something, you might want to put it in ahead of time maybe you want it to hold an ornament so let's have this little this little snow person this arm right there and they're all here to say hi um, this guy what if he's holding a pair of skis what if he's holding you know think about what you want to symbolize in your snow person, they could be holding something that's, I've had students that have, you know, had the snow person have a stethoscope on for, 
you know, their, that represented their dad. Their dad was a doctor, so you can do that. Another thing I like to put on these guys are scarves. So you want to put a scarf on, that's good. And you don't have to put a scarf on. This one's gonna have a scarf sort of blowing behind it too. Oops, sorry. And then this one could be holding an ornament because it's really close to the tree and it's gonna be placing an ornament on the tree. And this one is going to be holding, we've had really fun with, um, uh, somebody put a marshmallow, like it was toasting a marshmallow and melting the snowman. <laughs> You could have a lot of fun with these twigs as well. Yeah, because if you would toast marshmallows, but literally the snowman had a stick, a toasted marshmallow on it, a fire blazing here, but the snowman was melting. I don't know if that's a scary story or what. Now, what do we do with the tree? Before we put any definition on the tree, you probably want to go over here on the mountain range and we want to define where these mountains are. Notice I'm going up on the bottom side of the color and a little on the left side, I'm coming down um, to show the shadow. So that better defines the sky. And then finally we have our tree that we have to work with. But if you're gonna have lights on this tree, then go ahead and put the lights first. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do a simple strand of lights, just the traditional, you know, this go really fast. Because you guys can get really creative with ornaments though, so take your time if you want to. I'm trying to do this fast because I'm filming it for you but I want you to take your time. We always in our family put a star on the tree, the top of the tree. So it's not a, the perfect star, but, and again, now we wanna come in and we wanna define this tree with some branches. And this is where you can see that there's snow on the tops of the branches. And I've made better trees in my day. I'm not super proud of this one, but you know, it's, it's not horrible. It's not very exciting either. All right, so there we have the basic uh, Sharpie done. Now we go back in here with some defining features. Again, that's the, that's the colors that I used. So just take a box of either Crayola markers or just a little box of crayons and then add some colors to your, I think I'm going to use the crayons. It just seems, it makes more sense to me just to quickly use crayons. There's more color choices and it's quick and easy to do. So just quickly go in here with your colors. I'm sorry, I'm shaking the table. There's your nose. You can come in here with uh, a Christmassy red and white. Uh, let's do red and green so I can get some more color on this snow person. And what else did we have? We need brown for the branch arms. I put an ornament in that person's hands, so they're just starting to decorate that tree. Because I have no ornaments on the tree, but you guys can put ornaments on your tree, as you saw in the samples. And then let's do the scarf in, I don't think I've used any blue, it's stuck in here. Uh, I really like this turquoise color. I'm throwing around my colors. So get this turquoise scarf flying in the wind. 
You wanna let this dry. Oh, I also said I'm gonna do a band around the hat. Let's do a red band for the hat. And then you, of course, just scatter a little bit of color on here. Scatter a couple. Let's do some yellow on the star. Maybe some yellow lights. I stay away from green lights because I've already got green on the tree. You just want them to show up. And gosh, guys, it's a little bit wet. You can see from it's not completely dry. But now you're going to sign it. You always have to sign your art. Where do you sign art? The bottom right hand corner. Okay. If you want to put the date, put the date. I mean, come on, this is the COVID art project. So it's winter art. You guys can keep this in your house in a, a dollar frame or any frame you can find in your house. You can keep these up all through the winter, probably through February. So have fun with this. You could give these away for Christmas gifts if you can't go out and shop. I hope you enjoyed the art project today, my snow people art, and I hope you make one. You guys have a really great weekend. Have a great day. Have a great winter. We can do this together. All right? You guys have fun. Bye-bye.